Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I've really enjoyed these devotionals and I hope you have too. It's my prayer that this is a growing time for both you and me. So, I'm coming to you from Hillsboro, North Dakota once again, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about comparison. We compare things a lot in our lives, whether it's, uh, you know, people, jobs, sports players, whatever. We compare things all the time. And it can be a good exercise and it can be a bad exercise when we do it depending on the situation. Paul, the Apostle Paul, in Romans 8, 18, uh, he's talking a little bit about comparison, how you know, something is not worth comparing to something else. Let's check it out. Romans 8, 18. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. When I think of sufferings, I think there's a lot of suffering going on in our world right now, particularly what's on my mind is the youth, and I know Pastor Micah talked a little bit about this on Monday. But, you know, I can't imagine missing school and uh, spring sports and activities because of all this and just being stuck at home, especially being, you know, in my later high school years, being a junior or senior, especially that time. And uh, youth, I know some of you guys are going through this, and I'm sorry. That's, I really do feel for you, and I hope, these, I hope this verse is an encouragement. I hope it's an encouragement to whoever is listening to. So... When we look at these verses, we think of this suffering, right? And how it's apparently it's not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. There's a commentator, Richard Lenski, and in his commentary on the book of Romans, he has some cool stuff to say. He uses the analogy of a scale. And scales, uh, they used to be almost like a teeter-totter. Now everything's digital, right? But what used to be more popular is uh, these scales, where if you put something heavy over here, then that side would go down and the lighter side would go up. If you put something heavy over here, that side would go down and the lighter side would go up. And he talks about this verse, you know, it's like a scale, and it's really cool. He says, and so each scale is that considered like, or each side of the scale is considered a pan. Okay? So place all the sufferings into one pan of the scale, and all the coming glory into the other pan. The pan with the former flies into the air as if it were holding only a few feathers, when sufferings and glory are held against each other, the sufferings amount to nothing, no matter how many and how severe they are. This is not an overstatement, but simple fact. When we are in the midst of suffering, we often give them too much consideration, fail to look at the coming glory, and lose our balance and our sense of proportion. So, I'm not reading that uh, commentary to, you know, I'm not doing this devotional to say that your sufferings, they don't matter, or that... God doesn't care, that I don't care, anything like that, right? Because that won't be true. Um, God knows, you know, he sees exactly what you're going through. Uh, but what this verse encourages us is it, it says, hey, the glory that is to be revealed to us, you know, it's, it's going to be way better. Like, don't even compare your sufferings uh, to that. What is this glory? Um, this glory is it's the blissful perfection, a uh, state of perfection uh, that that heaven will be, that we get to be a part of because of Jesus. It's, you know, the glory in heaven that we, you know, we get to experience, we get to experience God's presence, you know, us being there with Jesus in heaven, how glorious that is going to be. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be amazing. And that's what we have to look forward to. That's what we have in Jesus Christ. And so think of your worst suffering. Think of the worst time in your life, whatever that may be, whether it's now, whether it's some other time, how terrible that is or was. It's not worth comparing to the glory we have in Jesus Christ to this, uh, you know, perfect, uh, perfect time that we'll have in heaven with God. It's going to be so awesome, and that's what we have to look forward to in Jesus. And so, if that's an encouragement to you today, let's pray. Dear God, I thank you for this day. Thank you for this time where we can look at your Word, God. I pray that we'd be comforted by the fact of how awesome uh, heaven is going to be, God. Uh, in, in Jesus Christ, God, we are we're going to be, uh, it's going to be perfect, and we get to be a part of that in heaven, God. And I just, I just thank you for what we have in Jesus, God, and may we just find comfort in these verses and find comfort in what you've done for us. In Jesus' name, amen. See you guys.